Put your library books away and grab a big book from the carpet. Um, Hey, I'm looking for someone to do this quietly. Put your books away, get a big book, come to the carpet. Thank you, Elijah. You need to turn to page 187. 
The polar bear cub is nursing. What other animal nurses off of their mother? What other animal, Brinley? Cats nurse off their mothers. Jasper? Bats. Bats? I don't know, do they? Yeah, Brooklyn, what other animal? Listen, listen. What? Dogs nurse off their mothers. What other animals we got, Daxton? Cows. Cows nurse off their mothers, good. All right, let's keep going. Oh, if I don't call on you, I will call on you. But we're, yeah, raising your hand and yelling at me, I will not call on you. So, there are many kinds of bears. So let's look on that page. Let me see. Michael, you're not on the right page. Turn the page back one. Turn the, uh, turn the page forward, yep. Okay. No, you don't. Listen, there are eight kinds of bears. The bears shown on this page are an American black bear, a brown bear, and a polar bear. These bears all live in North America. So, listen, no, they're all the same. American black bears can be different colors. What color is this black bear? Easton, what color? Black, it has a little bit of white on it, doesn't it? On its chest it looks there. Like my dog, but it's dead. It's you know, so floppy, and it's um, kind of, and it has color like that cub-like feel. Okay, let's it's read about that. Bear. Okay. There are different kinds of brown bears. These grizzly bears are one kind of brown bear. So look at that bear. Look at those little cubs. It's like three or four of them, aren't there? Okay, let's look at the bottom one. What is that bear called? Raise your hand, Krista. What's that bottom picture bear right here called? Do you remember what his name is? Polar bear. Polar bears. Polar bears have white fur. They live in a cold place called the Arctic. Has anyone ever seen a bear before in real life? You have? Um, At your house? Um, Okay, let's keep going. Listen, follow along. People who study bears once thought that giant pandas were raccoons. Now people think that these animals are bears. There are not many giant pandas left in the world. Giant pandas live in China. What animal did people used to think pandas looked like? Oh, raise your hand. Jackson. Um, what animal did people used to think pandas were? Uh, Calliope? Raccoons. raccoons. But now they think they are pandas, right? They used to think they were raccoons. Good job. Bears' body. So let's learn about all the features bears have. Bears have four legs. They can walk on all four legs or on their back, two hind legs. They have five toes with claws on each foot. Claws are curved nails. What other animal has claws? Tristan? A cat. Cat has claws. Haven? Uh, a fox. The fox? Very short claws. Very short claws. Brindley? A dog. Dog? Okay. Um, let's look at these body parts, okay? The grizzly bear cub has brown fur covering its body. Why do you think they have so much fur? Jenica? To keep them warm. To keep them warm. Bears can smell, hear, and see very well. Bears use their claws to climb and dig. So, that's pretty cool. Bears coats. Okay, let's listen here. Follow along. Bear coats. Bears have two kinds of fur. Some of their fur is short and some is long. Their short fur keeps them warm. Their long fur keeps water away from their skin. Polar bears have thick white fur. Pandas have black and white fur. Why do you think polar bears have super thick fur? Why do you think they have super thick fur? Colin? Because they don't want to get their skin wet. They don't want to get their skin wet. Where? Let's remember. Where did? Where do they live? Where do polar bears live? Why do they have to have thick fur, Alice? Like somewhere really cold. 
really cold, like the Arctic, where it's snowy and they have to have thick fur to keep them warm. Some of them do live at the North Pole. Hello, Jackson. Okay, here we go. Bears families. A bear family is made up of a mother bear and her cubs. Most mother bears have litters of cubs. A litter is two or more babies that are born at the same time. This mother grizzly bear has three cubs. You turn to the right page. Open your book and turn to the correct page. Okay. What other animals have litters? Do you remember? The babies. What other animals' babies are called litters? This is a tricky one. Summit, do you know? Dogs. Not dogs. I guess, yeah. The litters of puppies. Jenica? What group of animals, when their babies are called litters? You know? Five B, you want to help her? Oh. What'd you say? Yeah. Cats. Little kittens. They're called lit a litter of kittens. Okay, and over here it says, Cubs stay with their mothers until they are two to three years old. They watch their mothers to learn how to live on their own. Mother bears teach their cubs where to find food and how to stay safe. This mother bear is teaching her cubs how to climb a tree. Mothers also teach cubs how to groom their fur and stay clean. Okay, we talked about this a couple weeks ago. What is another word for the groom? What does it mean to groom something? Jasper? What does it mean if you're grooming? It means To keep it clean, you're cleaning yourself. What's another like word? Bath, kind of, yeah. Bird. Matthew? Brush. Brush, friendly. That's what you're going to say. Krista? Washing. Washing. Keeping yourself clean. That bear is grooming himself. What do bears eat? Okay, let's, let's, let's infer what we think they eat before we read. You ready? Mm -hmm. Michael, what do you think bears eat? Um, meat. Meat? Jackson, what do you think bears eat? All sorts of fish. All sorts of fish? That's a good answer. Calliope? Plants and meat. Plants and meat. Jenica? Uh, you can't think. Brooklyn, what do you think? Salmon. Salmon, maybe? All right, let's see. Most bears are omnivores. Omnivores are animals that eat both plants and animals. Bears eat honey, berries, leaves, and eggs. They also eat insects, fish, and other animals. Polar bears are carnivores. Carnivores eat mainly other animals. Pandas are herbivores. Herbivores eat mainly plants. So different types of bears eat different things, right? Polar bears are carnivores. Can you think of another animal that is a carnivore? Remember, carnivores eat mainly other animals. Mainly other animals. Jasper? What's Snake. It? Snake, okay. Tristan, what's an animal that eats other animals? Um, a fox. Fox? Mm -hmm. Jackson? What do you think? What's an animal that eats other animals? Birds. Birds, okay. Holland? Wolves. Wolves. All right, let's keep going. It says down here, pandas eat plants called bamboo. Have you ever seen like bamboo sticks? Yes. Once you get zoo, sometimes there's pandas there and that's what they're eating. Okay, let's, let's learn about bears' habitats. Tristan? Bear habitats. Bears live in different places. The natural place where a bear lives is called its habitat. Many bears live in forests. Forests are habitats with many trees. Some bears live on mountains. Pandas live in forests that grow high on mountains. Bamboo grows in these forests. Black bears live in North American forests. 
Okay, so black bears live in North American forests. What do you think this bear will find to eat? It says this bear is in a North American forest, so what do we think he's going to find to eat, Daxton? Maybe if he finds a farm, he might, if there's cows, he'll eat the cows. Mm hmm okay. Tristan? Looks like what do you think he's going to go eat? It looks like the bear's wet, so I think he's going to go and eat salmon. Like Maybe some fish. That's a good inference. Friendly? Um, find other animals to eat them. Mm -hmm. Like what? What would live in a forest? Fox? Okay, let's keep going. Winter sleep. Okay, everyone turn that page. Some bears live in places that have cold winters. What are some places that are have cold winters? Easton? Probably like like Antarctica and also South Antarctica. It is hard for these bears to find food when it is cold. To stay alive, Matthew, they sleep through most of the winter. During the summer and fall, the bears eat a lot of food. They store the food as fat on their bodies. The bears live off the fat during the winter because it's so cold. They have struggle finding food to keep them Nice and full, so they have to eat a lot in the summer and fall, right? Mm -hmm. These grizzly bears are eating a lot of salmon. Good job, Brooklyn. They are getting ready for the winter. So their bellies are going to be extra full in the fall and summer, and then they're going to be real hungry in the winter. That's why they have to eat so much. Okay, let's look over here. Mother bears that live in cold places have their cubs in the winter. Before the cubs are born, the mother builds a home called a den. What what other animal lives in a den? Colin? Fox. Fox might live in den. Jackson? Deers. Deers? Do they live in dens? No. no. They live in a forest. Close, close. The den's kind of like a cave, almost, like a small little cave. Okay, listen, raise your hand. Summit, what's another animal that lives in a den? A bat, okay, maybe. Jessica? A lion. A lion, that's what I was thinking of. Who else was thinking of a lion? A lion's den. Brooklyn, do you know of an animal that lives in a den? Arctic bunnies. Arctic bunnies, maybe, I don't even know. The den is a warm and safe place for the bears to live. Many bears make their dens by digging holes in hills or under tree roots. Some bears use caves or holes and logs for their dens. After the cubs are born, the mother goes to sleep. The cubs nurse while their mother sleeps. So why, why does the mom have the baby in the den? What did it say? Why does she have the baby in the den? Ty, do you know? Emerson, why does the mom have the baby in the den? What is she trying to do? Um to make sure it stays safe. Make sure it stays safe and it's nice and warm, right? So other animals can get it. Down here it says some polar bears make tunnels in the snow to use as dens. Don't you think it might be a little warm in there? No. No. Really? Probably yes. for polar bears because they have lots of fur and it's blocking the extra snow, right? And they really have flats. They do. Did you know polar bears have black skin, but then they have white fur? Yes. Hi, Good job, Five. Okay, hey, let's keep reading. Hey, yesterday you learned about the butterfly's life cycle, thanks, Jackson. So now we're going to learn about the bear's life cycle. You ready? So it says, cubs grow up. Each bear goes through a set of changes called a life cycle. A life cycle starts when a cub is born. The cub grows and changes. It then becomes an adult bear. Its eyes are shut. shut. Good job. Then it comes down here and gets a little bit older. It follows its mom. It's still nursing. Soon the cub leaves the den. What's the den? What does it do? Remember? Friendly? What does the den do? Alice? It keeps it safe. Keeps it safe and warm. Okay? It still nurses off its mom. 
but it starts eating other food too. So it'll eat all, it's nursing off its mom, but it might eat some fish or other animals. The cub becomes an adult when it is three to five years old. That's little, isn't it? At what age, do you guys know, what age do adults, do we become adults? What age do people become adults? Jessica, do you know? What age? Mm, close, a little, no. little, oh, no, Michael? 18. Yeah. 20. Okay, what age? Ty, do you know? Ty's raising his hand, Tristan. 18. So Miss Taylor 18. is. You didn't raise your hand. I didn't call on you. Miss Taylor is an adult because she is older than 18. Okay, listen. So after the cub becomes an adult when it is three to five years old, the adult bears can then make babies. So they can make babies at a very young age, right? They're only three to four year olds when they can start having babies. This mother bear and her cubs are looking for food in a forest. The cubs will soon start living on their own and finding food for themselves. Hmm, what do you think these cubs are gonna go after? What kind of food do you think they're gonna go for? Hunter, do you know? Those cubs, what do you think they're gonna go for? Uh, really, really, the biggest insect they can find. The biggest insect they can find. Jenica, what do you think these cubs are going to go for? Uh, fish. Fish, possibly some fish, yeah. Calliope? Skunk. A skunk? Do you see a skunk? Oh, I see it. Yep, there's a skunk. Oh, raise your hand, Summit. Alice, what do you think? Mice. Mice, good, good. Okay, down here it says this black bear cub has just left its den. It is starting to learn about the world. The cub will quickly find out why it should not play with skunks. Why should they not play with skunks? Emerson, what will happen if you play with a skunk? It will spray you. It will spray you and that will smell really, really bad. It has to take a tomato bath. You so take a what? Tomato You have to take a bath. Oh, listen, Maya is talking. Hunter, Hunter, or Matthew. No. Emerson. Tristan and Hunter. The skunk sprayed him, and then now that he he was stinky, and we had to pick off his collar, and now he doesn't have one. That and happened to one of my dogs one time. And then he had to like take a shower, but it was hard because my grandma she doesn't have a tub. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, this was an informative. <laughs> or expository text. What is an expository text? Can you tell me? Summit? Narrative nonfiction. And it gives us what? What do we learn? What, what does it give us? Jenica? True information. True information and pictures, right? Because these are real bears, right? And what they look like, Jackson and Clyope? Okay. Let's review a little bit about what we learned about bears, and then we're going to move on. Okay? Where do they live? Where can they live? Let's talk with polar bears first. Where do polar bears live, Brooklyn? The Arctic. The Arctic, where it's nice and cold, right? And they have lots of fur. Remember? Ty, where do black bears live? Do you remember? North America. Okay? What do bears eat, Tristan? What else? Some eat bamboo. Some, some eat bamboo. Some eat what? Oh. Plants. Plants, animals, all of it, right? Okay. One, two, and then we can do something different. 